Hi all, we are going to discussing about the interesting topic related to respiration in plants, our plus one topic, respiration in plants. There is a topic called the electron transport system. Electron transport system is a metabolic pathway for electron passes from one carrier to another carrier and finally synthesize water, ATP, etc. This is called the electron transport system or ETS. This electron transport system consists of various electron carriers. They form a five complexes. Complex 1 name is called uh, NADH dehydrogenase complex. Complex 2 name is called uh, succinate dehydrogenase and uh, complex 3 cytochrome BC1 complex. Complex 4 cytochrome C oxidase and uh, complex 5 ATPase. These are the five complexes which control the electron transport system. Electron transport system is a metabolic pathway from which electron passes from one carrier to another carrier and finally synthesizing that resulting in the synthesizing of ATP. Okay, this is called electron transport system. It is a part of terminal oxidation. Terminal oxidation is the synthesis of water. During respiration water will be synthesized by the combination of oxygen, proton and electron. But we know during photosynthesis during photolysis of photosynthesis, water will be splitted. Okay, water or H2O split and forming to proton, to electron and oxygen, of oxygen. That is in the case of photosynthesis. But in the case of respiration, water will be synthesized by the combination between two proton, to electron and of O2. This electron transport system consisting of five complexes. Complex 1 name, NADH dehydrogenase complex. Complex 2, succinate dehydrogenase. Complex 3, cytochrome BZ1 complex. Complex 4, cytochrome, B, uh, cytochrome C oxidase. And complex 5, ATPase. These complexes control the electron transport system. Okay, let's discuss in the diagram. This electron transport system present on the inner mitochondrial membrane. And this part is called uh, matrix where Krebs cycle occurs and this space is called intermembrane space or outer space okay as a result of the oxidation of NADH finally produce one, one molecule of NADH oxidase to form 3 ATP as a result of final oxidation of FADH2 that create 2 ATP when FADH2 oxidase to form 2 ATP then NADH oxidase to form 3 ATP so when this NADH plus H plus oxidase and forming electron and proton that electron is circulated through different system complex 1 complex 3 complex 4 and complex 5 okay as a result finally from complex 4 this electron is circulated into the matrix and this electron combined with oxygen and proton and forming water they are called the terminal oxidation formation of water by the combination between of oxygen to proton and to electron okay and this electron from nadh plus h plus is circulated through complex 1 complex 3 complex 4 and uh, water will be formed as a result proto proton is accumulated within the outer space or intermembrane space as a result of the oxidation of NADH plus H plus that create the or pushing into six proton six proton means three pairs of proton three pairs of proton into the outer space as a result of oxidation of FADH2 that push for H plus that means two pairs, two pairs of proton into the outer space as a result of oxidation of NADH plus H plus that push three pairs of proton into the outer space as a result of oxidation of FADH2, two proton pairs or 4H plus is pushed into outer space. This will create a proton gradient. Number of proton increased within the inner membrane space and number of proton decreased within the matrix. This will create a proton gradient. We already discussed about the chemiosmotic hypothesis in chapter photosynthesis. This will create a proton gradient. Number of proton increased within the inner membrane space and number of proton decreased within the matrix. It will create a proton gradient. This gradient will be broken down due to the return backing of proton or uh, movement of proton from inner membrane space to matrix okay that is in the case of oxidative phosphorylation number of proton increased within the outer side or inner membrane space number of proton decreased within the matrix as a result proton will be moved back from inner membrane space to matrix through this channel is called ATPase or complex 5 complex 5 is called ATP synthase or ATPase it consists of two parts they are F0 and F1. F0 is called tail and F1 is called head. Okay, from this outer side to matrix or inner membrane space to matrix, proton is returned back through F0 to through F0 to F1 through F0 to F1. This proton will be moved at that time. 
energy is released uh, that uh, will activate the enzyme ATPase. As a result, ADP combined with inorganic phosphate and uh, forming ATP. This type of ATP synthesis is called oxidative phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation linked to electron transport system. As a result of electron transport, uh, three pairs of proton or six proton pushed into the outer space due to the oxidation of NADH and oxidation of FADH that push two proton pairs. That means four proton. Totally ten protons are pushed into outer space or intermembrane space. This, this will create a proton gradient. Then proton move back from intermembrane space or outer side to uh, matrix through F0 to F1. F0 form a channel that allow the movement of or facilitate a division of pot proton and this F1 contain ATPase. As a result ATP will be synthesized. This type of ATP synthesis is called oxidative phosphorylation. This is about electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation. Thank you. Hi all, you are watching a DOPA capsule class now. To know more about DOPA and DOPA capsule, download DOPA app and contact us using this number. <laughs>